Hello, my name is Mark. Again, today I will tell you the story, The Lion and the Mouse, from Aesop Fables. The Lion and the Mouse, a retelling from Aesop Fables. The lion was very hungry. As he paddled through the tall grass, something rustled by his feet. He reached out a great paw, and there was Squeak. He had caught a tiny mouse by the tail. Oh, please let me go, dear lion, cried the tiny mouse. I should be no more than a single mouthful for you, and I promise I will be able to help you someday. The, tion, the lion roared with laughter. The thought of a tiny mouse being able to help him help such a large creature as himself amused himself so much that he did let the mouse go. He would not have made much of a meal anyway, smiled the lion. The mouse scuttled away, calling out to the lion. I shall not forget my promise. Many days and nights later, was the lion was paddling through the grass again when he fell into a deep pit. A net was flung over him, and he lay there helpless, caught by some hunters. He twisted and turned, but he could not free himself. The hunters just laughed at his, his struggles and went off to a fetch a cart to carry the great lion back to their village. As he lay there, the lion heard a tiny voice. I promise I'll be able to help you one day. It was the tiny mouse. And straight away, he began to gnaw through the rope that held the lion fast. He gnawed and chewed, and chewed and gnawed. And evenly, he chewed and gnawed right through the rope, and the lion was free. Free. With a great bound, he leapt over out of the pit and then reached back very gently to lift the tiny mouse out too. I shall never forget you, mouse. Thanks for remembering your promise and saving me, cried the great lion. So the tiny mouse was able to help the great lion. One good turn deserved another, you see? The end. Bye-bye.